seems the name and claim it, the law of attraction. Yes. So it is very easy, but yet so many people struggle. Why do you think that is? Okay. You can only think of one thing at a time. And you're serious about getting something. But you tell somebody else. And that somebody else may be jealous and not want you to have it. And so it's a delay in the results. You then pick up that person's thought, and then you think, why should I have it? Some people are actually guilty that they're committing a sin by wanting something. And so whatever their consciousness, or whatever their thought, or however they were brought up in a family, see, uh, when, you're, when you choose your parents, you're subjected from, eight, from birth to age seven, and uh, you learn mannerisms, uh, their, uh, their concepts, uh, their religion, everything about this, and even walk like it, and, and so forth. And then all of a sudden you get out into school. Now you pick up peers, your peers. What do your peers think? And then you get to thinking, and then as you grow up, the rest of your life you're going to have to undo what you learned from one to seven. And even, uh, I have found, uh, and this is very interesting when I did regressions, I have found children that are in the womb with the mother and uh, there are comfortable there and are subjected to the environment. But I have also found children that although here is a physical part and they're eliminated, they're here and their soul only comes in. You mean the soul comes in after the kid is born? After the child is born. Also, I have found that children come in and there is probably an elder around and has not made the transition yet, but has not learned all the lessons and this child has nothing there, has no soul there. It's just a physical thing, and after the death, uh, the essence comes in. And incidentally, this essence has been uh, weighed, and it's maybe a quarter of an ounce or whatever. Uh, you know, when we had deathbed scenes, mm -hmm. and we would uh, wonder when there was this uh, being coming out, and then, of course, there was a ray. I mean, they measured that in one of the researches. Wow. Right, the, the, the body tends to lose a certain amount of weight. Yes, uh -huh, just that. ounces. Mm -hmm. But it does, this tells you, that this soul essence here, uh, it's an energy is what it is, then can only, will come in into the child. So you're saying the child is born as an empty vessel, without yes, a soul, yes. Yes, waiting without for the soul, soul of... Waiting for, usually, someone that is in a physical... Now, we also find that older people, uh, they have the essence, and they can go back and forth, back and forth, and back and forth, until they release the body. And then in some of my regressions, I have found uh, this to be just awesome, absolutely awesome. What do you mean by regressions? You mean you are putting people through a hypnotic regression? Yes, I do. Would that be something you'd be able to show us, <laughs> one of us? I can share with you. It's a tedious process unless you have, um, you come here for a particular purpose, something that's unresolved. And uh, sometimes uh, I always caution uh, people, be sure, because I have to have permission from your beings. I don't mess around. I'm, I'm too serious and I know that we're getting so much help from that other side. I don't want to mess with it. 